Tell me what you see in me Gotta be something different You must be made for me Patience is nothing Hey girlies, welcome back and thank you for tuning in today. You see the ball cap, girl. You know what time it is. This video was sponsored by Ali Pro Hair Company. The packaging came with so many goodies. We have an edge brush, a Velcro headband, not one, but two pairs of lashes, wig caps, a bonnet, and yeah, lots of good stuff. Here we have a 13 by 6 body wave bob. It is 16 inches and 180 density. The lace has really small knots in the front, so I love that. A tip for tinting your lace, make sure that is your exact skin tone or a little bit lighter to avoid any dark undertones when you are setting the foundation for gluing on your wig. Because if you make your wig cap too dark, it'll show up underneath. And if you make it too light, it will show up underneath as well. So always want to go just like a tad bit lighter, not too light, or your exact skin tone if you have that available to you. I like to tint my cap with my foundation before I cut it because I don't want to to get the foundation all over my skin so i like to do this step before i cut the cap make sure you are focusing on a really flat foundation we want it flat as possible and getting all of the extra pieces off so i'm gonna go in with my bold holds active i love this glue i like to combine it with my even spray and a black can and i will be going in with about three layers of this glue to spread this layer of glue thin, I'm going to be going in a back and forth motion, just going back and forth with a flat stencil. I'm going to be using my combs today. I prefer that or my cute little chopstick. So yeah, basically just back and forth. You just want it to be flat. Any extra, you just drag it along and slide it in areas that just have a little bit less that you feel like some more glue should be on. You just use that extra that builds up at the end of your tool in a different area or just wipe it off if you don't need this it. This is also why it is important to make sure that you are mentally measuring how much you put on at a time for layer for layer. Just put on small amounts at a time and make sure you move quickly when you're spreading your layers. For my second layer of glue, I decided to drag my glue across my hairline where I felt like I wanted it to be placed. Um, I did the dotted method for beginners because I feel like it is a great way to begin laying down your wigs and a great way to measure how much you're actually putting on your head. So if you are not familiar, I suggest that you go with the dotted method for your glue. Um, but if you're a little bit more familiar, you know what's up, you know what's up, you know what's good, get into it. But I'm still going with my back and forth spread method for the thinnest foundation. We want the thinnest foundation possible and a neat one. If you're at the point where you just know where to place everything, like you know exactly where the glue goes, exactly how much cap to cut off, like exactly where to place the lace down on the wig and where to cut, you are a pro and you've done your hair over a hundred times like me because that's where like I'm at with doing my hair. So I'm just giving tips like throughout this video because I know everybody doesn't do their hair in that way. So let's take our blow dryers on a cool setting and blow dryer these two layers to clear. Um, I waited for the first layer to be clear as well. I didn't go in with my second layer until the first one was clear. I don't know if you guys peeped it, but there was no white before I added the second layer. So we'll get into that, mama. So now I'm going in with my third layer here, as you can see, babes. Now, since I'm towards the end, I decided to go back to the dotted method because I don't want as much glue for the third layer. I just want that little bit like added for the third layer we don't need a extra thick layer so i'm just spreading it out and again make sure that it is as thin as possible when spreading it you don't want any clumped areas to be worried about after give yourself a nice foundation to work with before gluing on your wig and go back in with your blow dryer with a cool setting and do this until it is clear and tacky but not completely dry to the point when you touch it you feel no stick 
make sure that it is tacky a method that I previously introduced to you guys a few years ago I call this the place and press method yes I just take the wig and place it where I want and use my other hand to press it down I did not have to bleach this wig or pluck this wig um, I really feel like this wig was so beautifully made before it was sent that I, I didn't really have to do much so it just needed minimal customization um, there will be like obviously a few small minor tweaks that I do for my own liking and you can do the same as well once you receive your wig after ordering but I really feel like I didn't have to do much like it was a really good night to put it on I had somewhere to go I felt really cute like yes like short bob babe so here I am just molding this lace onto my hair with the cool setting of the blow dryer and giving you guys a Beyonce moment. Now that I feel like it is somewhat a little bit dried, I'm just going to start cutting the lace now and getting into the customizing. If you are not that familiar with cutting, make sure that you don't rush and you take your time with this step. You don't want to overcut, make any holes or rip, have any inconveniences with your brand new lace wig. So let's make sure we are taking our time, especially with cutting behind the ear. It can be a little bit tricky, so make sure you're paying attention that you don't cut out any extra chunks of hair. Make sure you just cut the lace. I enjoy cutting with these small scissors because it gives me more room to see where I'm actually cutting. If it's more helpful to you guys as beginners, you can use a marker and make sure you don't mark where you're going to be gluing it down because that will show up. But you can mark on the outside of where you cut and just cut in front of the line that you made and that could be more helpful for you when cutting your lace so you can be very neat and not overdo anything for your safety as a beginner just a tip with how natural the hairline looks i could definitely pull off a no baby hairs look i really love how fluffy this hair is it is super duper soft like a feather and i love the thickness of it if you want a thinner look for your bob when ordering select 150 density instead of 180 shortly we'll be using our velcro headband but first let's color our lace i'm going in with the same foundation that i used earlier in the video if i didn't mention it before it's from juvia's palace yes i had to look at all angles for the flashback but so far the wig is giving that i could get away with a no baby hairs look that looks very beautiful and flawless and i didn't even have to tint any of the knots and this is fresh out the box so now i'm going in with my even spray in the black can so i can lock in that melt and give it a more seamless look and take away all the ash and here is where we go in with our velcro bands and this is so pretty i love the glitter look that they chose this is bomb.com i love it I decided to go with a side part for my hair so now I'm just going to be slicking her down and flattening this wig out because I love a good flat wig nobody wants a helmet wig nobody wants that like I love I'm obsessed with a flat wig okay like ugh, when I see flatness I just be like yes yes flat flat yes smooth neat get it and I wanted to loosen the curls a little bit with my hot comb. So now let's get this wig looking more neat. I'm going to be making my part more crispy. I decided to pluck a little bit just to unthicken this area of the wig. I don't want it too thick and wiggy in the front, but it is really giving. It is really laid. It's blending. It is melted, girl. So these are just the final steps. Just finishing off the look.
Now I'm going to be parting the areas where I want to add edges because I just couldn't do a no baby hair look. I have to have edges. Not for every look, but for this one, I plead guilty like it has to have edges for me. And not just any type of edges, some nice, good old dramatic ones. Make sure that you are cutting at an angle, you guys, and not just straight across or too short. Make sure you measure before you cut. Now I'm going to make my part extra neat with some concealer. I recommend curling your edges for better results before using your products. They lay down so much better and go in such perfect direction. I would suggest a mousse, but all I have is got to be gel on hand. But I also like using this because I like the results of it. All of the information for this exact wig that I am wearing in the video will be listed down below in the description box, along with Ali Pearl's contact information and social media handles. There will also be discount codes available to you as well, so you can get coins off when making a purchase for this wig or something else wonderful on the site. They have a variety of styles, lengths, and colors. If you like this video and want to see more like this, please give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button to become a part of the OTW Nation. Yeah, check in next time. Bye.